might be surprised why I am showing you this figure here. Do you know any biochemical in our body which shows spirally twisted condition? Now hint to this is that it is the one which makes us who we are. Yes, the right answer to this question is DNA. DNA is genetic material in majority of organism. In majority of living system, DNA works like genetic material, but in few viruses, RNA works like genetic material. So here we are going to start with a new topic, new chapter, and that chapter is molecular basis of inheritance. Here we are going to talk about structure of DNA, RNA and the different functions performed by them. So first of all, I will be talking about some scientists who are associated with the discovery of DNA. Coming to the first one that is Frederick Mescher. From the pus cell, he extracted one substance which is responsible for transfer of characters from one generation to another generation. He extracted the substance from nucleus. That's why he named this substance as nuclein. Now later on, Altman found that this substance is acidic in nature. That's why he renamed nuclein as nucleic acid. Now we know that DNA it is a long polymer and in this polymer subunits they are formed by deoxyribonucleotides. So it is a polymer in which monomers they are nucleotides. So generally length of DNA is defined as number of nucleotide. But we know this that in DNA there are two strands which are spirally twisted. Both of these strands they are made up of nucleotides and these nucleotides they pair with the help of bases. So length either it can be defined by using number of nucleotides or nucleotide pairs or base pairs. So here length can be defined by using nucleotides pair of nucleotides or base pair because two strands they are paired with the help of nitrogenous bases. Now number of nucleotide this is characteristic feature of an organism. So here we are going to mention few examples which are given in the NCRT coming to the first one that is 5X174 virus. Now this virus is peculiar because in this virus instead of double stranded DNA there is presence of single stranded DNA and that DNA is not linear it is circular. And number of bases which are present that is 5386. Here I am not writing base pairs because single stranded condition is present. Double stranded condition is absent. There is no pairing partner. So instead of base pairs I am writing bases here. Now coming to the next one lambda virus lambda phage. Now in lambda phage there is double stranded DNA and now it is linear just like the one which is present in the eukaryotes because now double stranded condition is there so that's why I'm writing 48502 base pairs they are present in DNA. Now next one most studied bacteria that is E. coli. Now in E. coli there is presence of double stranded DNA and it is circular and number of bases are 4.6 into 10 raised to power 6 base pair and the last one humans. Now in humans there is presence of double stranded DNA but it is linear and it consists of 3.3 into 10 raised to power 9 base pair and you have to keep this in mind this base pair content is present in haploid cell and if we are going to talk about diploid cell it is going to become double so this comes out to be 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to power 9 base pair right now let's take up one question here how many bases are present in lambda phage so many of you will say 48502 but this is not the right answer I'm not talking about base pair, I'm talking about bases so you know that in lambda virus and lambda phage 48502 base pairs are present and if we have to convert it into bases so we have to multiply it by 2 so 48502 into 
2 that is the right answer so the right answer for this question is option number 3 so this is all about the introduction of the topic now i will be talking about structure of dna in detail first of all i will be talking about components of monomer that is nucleotide